Hey everyone, how's it going? Blue Orc 2792 here, here to start my new Let's Play series of Warcraft 3 custom campaign, Jeopardy for the Horde. Let's start off with first mission, setting sail. And as you can see, like a custom campaign, meaning it's not really like the main part of the campaign. It's not really like, you know, canon. It's basically if like, you know, people like to make up like their own stories about how Warcraft 3, or they would like Warcraft 3 done. And for example, this is basically a sequel campaign to another one called Rowan the Wise. Which, make a long story short, Undead Scourge started off way earlier than was supposed to be. King Ar Arthas turned into a douchebag earlier on. And you play as a paladin Rowan and end up saving basically the entire kingdom of Lordaeron and make Rowan king. And wiping out the undead scourge permanently. But here you start off with the orcs. Or orc war chief Thrall. And he was basically the reason why I really just loved orcs to begin with as a child. Because he was just like a friggin... He was like a friggin superhero. I mean... If... If you get like, you know... Let's see, who would be a good one? Um, you know, screw it. If you get put Superman, made his skin green, give him tux, some armor and a hammer... That's this guy Thrall right here. <laughs> and I feel more comfortable basically talking over when a dialogue like this happens because there's no really like any voice acting throughout all this. But then again, you don't really need like, you know, voice acting to get, just really just get into like the story of the campaign going on. And as you can see here, it's kind of like a kind of referencing to basically how basically when the people just didn't like the way things were going in Europe. So they basically got on a ship and set sail to the basically quote unquote new world, which is which eventually formed the United States of America. And so basically, if you watch the dialogue right here, yeah. or not, I should say, basically things aren't going so well over here for the orcs, so they're going to you know, pack up and just leave this uh, whole continent of Azeroth and just set sail for Kalimdor where they can find a new home, where they can just, you know, live in peace and prosperity. Double. Honor. And let's take a look at Thrall himself. He is a Farseer, and his main attack is range, and his the primary attribute you would need to upgrade him with is always intelligence. So this, this is kind of like, uh, like in Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where you have like your heroes and the units, Master. only Double. these are singular units, they're not really like a squad Double. or anything. The spirits are restless. So let me just start you off with basically the bet one of the best if not the best abilities to have in Warcraft 3 now I just shot him with chain lightning chain lightning basically not only does damage to a singular unit but if possible the lightning will jump forward to other units and deal equal damage to them as well And that's really like why I kind of like, if I ever like have like, you know, a magical attack or anything, if I can have a choice, I would always choose lightning or electricity. Because it seems like electricity just seems like the one that can just do the most amount of damage in a larger area. Or at least look the most awesome when you're doing a damage in a large area. I mean, yeah, fireball isn't like, like bad or not, 
or like some sort of ice attack, but... You'll always see me go for like electric based attacks than anything else. A wise plan. The spirits are restless. Now in Warcraft 3, like in Dawn of War 2 Retribution, Dumb. it always pays off to always explore the map if you can. Always look for every nook and cranny, like destroying these buildings here. And you'll always find like cool little items for your care sorry, for your heroes to have or, or use on the battlefield. And as you see here, my little icon for chain lightning just turned dark blue. And the reason it did that is because Locrigan. it's a signal signal me that I cannot use chain lightning anymore because I don't have enough mana. Dumb. And unfortunately, unlike in Dawn of War 2 Retribution, the where you bought if you bought like the DLC, mana or energy, I think Dumb. it's called, it's it's not something to always worry about. I am the watch. But in here, you basically need to choose your when to use your spells wisely. Otherwise, when you actually have to use them and you don't have enough mana, you are base you are screwed. Yeah. And to those who basically don't really know much about like Warcraft orcs, I'll just kind of kind of give you like a brief comparison between them and the Warhammer orcs. Dumb. Well, besides the fact that these orcs, you know, do not have space flight, they are still like in the medieval times, but they make up for it with their ability to do magic. Let's get on with it. A thing you will rarely see in Warhammer. Unless you're like a member of like the Blood Ravens chapter or something where you basically have like where they have like the most librarians yes. out of the entire Imperium. Dabu. But also yes. these orcs, you know, hmm. reproduce the old fashioned way. Cause they they, they have like female orcs and everything. They they don't really do like any they don't really yes. they don't have any fungal spores or anything like that. They For honor. They do it the old fashioned way. Yes. Double. Yes. And while the orcs do still follow like kind of a might makes right kind of deal. Again, I say kind of mainly because Look Narok, your time has come. They don't really follow like whoever's the biggest, cause yes. the biggest doesn't always mean like the strongest. Look regard, and th they proved that th multiple times when they actually take on ogres and yes. prevailed. The spirits are restless. I am. And they have like a more like you know. They have like a deeper sense of like you know a tribe yes. it's not really like like a war band or anything where they just want to just fight 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 all the time they they have like a hold on let me let me take this friend out before he gets killed Oh wait, this guy is, is going to continue healing himself, so it's going to be easy. Oh, Root of Greater Healing. So maybe they have like a deep sense of like shamanism and and tribal worship. Well, not, not tribal worship, but 
They have a deep uh, worship for like the spirits and their ancestors. Kind of like ancient clans of like old from like like the Celts or for honor. Even like the Native Americans and um, yes, war chief. Probably other people yes. who I just cannot Master, think out the top of my head at the moment. Yes. Let's get on. Um. Oh, Mongols. Before Genghis Khan arrived and became like the ultimate badass. Look, regard, no gun. Let's get on with it. Hmm. And here is basically my one of my favorite orcs as well, Grom Hell Scream. And basically, I'd like to just kind of give like a brief summary as like how all this have happened. And well. If you don't know, like, about the Warcraft universe, it, okay, it's basically this. The orcs basically came from another planet. I know I just said, like, they're not really space, they don't really have spaceships or anything, so they, they use portals. But basically, they were manipulated by demons. Like, they were literally, well, not really, really mind-controlled, but they were basically, they literally got injected with, like, well, not literally injected, but basically, they got de demonic powers flowed into their veins, and they just went crazy. And so the, so they actually went to the world that we're on now, which is called Azeroth, and they just wrecked havoc. Until eventually, the humans and their allies with the elves, well, high elves, and the dwarves. Uh, trust me, I'm going to explain the whole high elf thing later on. Uh, where was it? Okay, yeah. Uh, eventually, and they basically all just got chained up and basically were worked as slaves to the humans. Yes, Chieftain. And basically, Thrall basically, w basically grew up as a slave, didn't like the way things were going for him and his people, and sought to basically free his people of slavery of not just the humans but of the demon of the of the demons as well the people who cursed his their entire race in the first place and to help him win that in his journey Grom Hellscream uh basically joined joined him and basically they 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 became bros ever since and again, th that is a very, very brief summary. There's like so much more about the whole storyline for Thrall that I can just go on and on and on about. Cause he, he, Thrall is that awesome. Well, when he was war chief, I, mean, I, yes, I, I have a few, I have a few bones to pick with like the whole cataclysm thing. I, not a real fan of that. <laughs> but hold on. Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, um, basically en enough about that. Yes. So basically, thralls set out to freeze people and. Sorry about that, I don't know what's going on with my throat. <laughs> and... Yeah, so basically... Thrall sets out to free his people from... From yeah. slavery of not just humans, but the demons as well. And to give them, give them an actual home. Not, not, not just a place where they could just... Get a few things and just, you know, camp out, but an actual honest to god home that they can just call I like a place they can just call home yes where they will be able to raise their families oh and just live out their lives oh. in peace yes 
Dabu. For honor. Say the word. Yes. And okay, now I remember where I was actually going to, with in the first place. Yes. Uh, I could just there. go on and on and on about why Thrall is like so friggin' awesome. Yeah. As far as him before Cataclysm was concerned, because I have a few bones to pick with the Cataclysm, and I'm just ending up repeating myself. I I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> War Chief. But if you really just want to know more about Thrall, uh, if you can, like, either look up, like, you know, WoW Wiki and just look up Thrall as, like, the character. Or if you want, just, there's an actual book that explains, like, oh Thrall's entire story. Oh. It's called, um, Warcraft, Lord of the Clans. And if you can find it, like, your local bookstore or even just try to order on Amazon, it... I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Restless. I can wait no longer. Look, regard, no God. Really, just has Thrall face to face with what he has to do. I can wait no longer. And basically, to confront like the Let's get on basically it. inner demons that the orcs have been yes. trying to come to grip with the, their entire life. Look, regard, no God. All the while, Thrall basically confronting his inner demons and beating them in order to secure a future for everyone. I am the war chief. I... Orcs, arm yourselves. The spirits are Screw you, guards. We're breaking out. Let's get on We're not gonna put up with your crap anymore. Look, Naruto. Oh, sweet. Thrall g g gained a level. And unlike Not of War Retribution, I can upgrade and get any spells right in the middle of the fight. And I'm going to go with Earthbind Totem. Because yeah. Earthbind Totem is very, really, very important. Especially if you're like in a massive battle. Because what I Earthbind Totem does right here is uh, reduces nearby enemy units attack speed by 10%. And with a game like Warcraft 3, yeah, attack speed is gonna be important. Hell, Grum Hellscream basically is a Blade Master, which is like one of my favorite orc units ever. Because Blade Master is basically a friggin' samurai. Only to actually get more strength to deal more damage with to his for his blows. But basically his primary attribute is agility. And agility not only increases his damage, it increases his armor, but also increases his attack speed. So he can end up being like a machine gun of of cleaves and like strikes. The spirits. I mean, he he can be like a real super unit killer or like a real hero killer. You 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 do not want a piece of this guy. Oh, let me get this raider out of the way. Oh shit! Get out! Get out of there! Get out of there! Direct me. Yeah, there, shaman. For honor. I'm gonna apply this healing salve for them. Uh, give him a scroll of protection. Let's get on with it. Need something. I am the war chief. I can wait no longer. Master? Hmm. Finally. Let's get on with it. Hmm. I can wait no longer. I am the war chief. Yes. Pull that grunt back. Take out the watchtower, and basically have Thrall go toe to toe with this stupid ship. How can I help? 
The spirits are restless. Oh, hey. Rom gained up a, le gained a level. Hold on, I'm gonna... Yeah. Okay, yeah, now you're screwed, you stupid boat. Hey, this is how, how awesome he is. He is taking on a friggin' friggin' that has cannons and everything, and he's just showing them who's boss. Don't mess with Thrall. Thrall messes with you. I'll consider it. Let's get on with it. Oh, he did take a lot of damage, but then again, that's... He, this is, this, he just, he's just level 2 at the moment. Once he gains like a few more levels, he, especially with like with Grom with here and maybe a few other heroes, they they just become like the ultimate fighting force. Yes. The mighty Orcish Power Rangers. Oh wow, that's Ganopoli. I just said that. Let's get on. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> yes. But yeah. It, Trust me, when the time comes, you don't need to take my word for it. I'll show you how awesome it, they are. But for the time being, I'll, I don't mind kicking some ass with like, with my home, with my orcish horde. I'm gonna apply this healing salve on him. Give Grom assassin's blade. This is a very special blade. Made especially for fast hitters like Grom, or even ranged heroes. Yes, War Chief. Which basically adds five, adds five points to damage and gives them ability to poison the enemy, which moves, slows the movement speed and attack rate of the enemy. So yeah, Assassin's Blade is pretty damn powerful. And thank you, designer, for allowing me to get this in the first mission. Yes. Hmm. War Chief. Let's see. Okay, yeah, nah. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to use Wind Walk. And set off these explosives. And basically destroy a good amount of their buildings and their and their army. And if you notice when I click on some of the units, they do like different types of damage. Uh, for Grom and Thrall, they do hero damage, but they also have hero, and they also have different types of armor. I am the war chief. And basically, having different types of attacks and armor is—it's a very interesting thing they added for Warcraft 3. Basically, adds like a whole new strategic. A value when you're trying to build like an army or trying to defend your base because each unit does different damage to each thing basically like a whole rock paper scissors scenario for example my grunts do normal damage normal damage does extra damage to medium armor and does reduce damage to fortified armor fortified armor is basically the armor you would find in buildings like you know in every building really and rate my raiders do siege damage which is right here and siege damage obviously does extra damage to fortified armor or basically does extra damage to all buildings 
Shamans, uh, their magic attacks do extra damage only to heavy and light armor, but reduce damage to medium armor, fortified armor, and hero armor. And hero armor is basically the best armor in the game because it does reduce damage from everything. I'll consider it. The spirits are restless. Say and you have word. different types of armor, which basically... Yes? If you just basically like read like the... There are like types of damage. You basically kind of get like what the armor I will do. Like medium does like you know take extra damage from normal and reduce damage from basically everything else. Uh, heavy armor uh, reduces damage on everything except for magic, yes. and unarmored takes extra damage from piercing and siege attacks. And you only find piercing from like range units, like um, like those dwarf rifle, like those uh, dwarvish uh, riflemen that were firing at me a little while ago. But enough of that. I need to start pulling up some uh, Grand Theft naval maneuvers to avoid these battleships. And apparently, Thrall showed up at the right time. It looks like my fellow orcs are being attacked by this a-hole fascist humans. And you see here from Warcraft, they have a different battle cry. It's called Loktar Ogar. In which the orcish tongue means Victory or death. So look Taro Gar, my warriors. Let's save our people. And yes, as <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Ugh. Really, something really is going on with my throat. But oh, another main difference between the Warcraft and Warhammer: the these orcs spells their uh, race name with O R C instead of O R K. Yeah, they they're they're more eloquent. Actually, a little bit more like a uh, humane in comparison to the Warhammer, but in in a very in a good way. And this is basically one of Thrall's like best moments. <laughs> in both the original Warcraft storyline and this custom campaign. Since the humans basically control the, the entire coastal region, they decide, hey, why don't we just sail away to Kalimdor on the humans' own ships? <laughs> the captain's like all pissed, like, damn it, they're stealing our boats. Quick, someone call the cops. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, even though they're sailing away, the humans are not gonna let this go. They're they're just gonna be douches and hold. They're gonna just hold on to the grudge and basically bring war with them. Well, the orcs just want to be able to just just have a home, just to have a place to call their own. They don't want to fight anymore, but the humans just won't let it go. And that was the first mission of my new let's play i hope you people enjoyed it if you did feel free to subscribe and i will see you all next time